What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. In today's video, I'm going to answer two questions from one of our viewers who contacted us on Facebook. And Mr. Brian David asked, could I make a video on using a full face mask with an air control or an integrated octo system and how you would actually donate air to your buddy? Furthermore, he asked is how do you deploy an SMB while using your full face mask? So those are two very good questions and we're going to take a few minutes here and answer both ones. Now unfortunately, you're going to have to use very specific equipment to be able to do this and I'll try to explain why that is. If we think of an integrated octo, first of all, a lot of divers will use this because maybe they travel, they want to slim up their gear, they don't want a lot of extra hoses, and the integrated octos work great for that. Now, one of their downsides is it's short. So if you're using a full face mask and you're gonna try to donate to your buddy, it's not very practical because your buddy's not gonna be able to get close enough to actually use it. And in reality, they're only designed really for you. In a traditional system, when you donate your primary and hand this one or take this one for you, it's a little bit easier because your primary hose tends to be a lot longer than this hose. For donation to a buddy though, the air control is probably not going to be the best option while using a full face mask. Now it doesn't mean that you can't use it for you, it just simply means that you're going to have to have some other type of alternate air source to donate to your buddy. So what do I do in a full face mask? Well, I don't typically use the air control, but in the situation that I would, I would always Always have some type of alternate air source such as a pony system here. Now if it's a public safety situation, if it's a salvage situation, which is typically when I would be using a full face mask, I'm going to be carrying at least a 30 cubic foot pony, whether it's slung under my arm or it's back mounted, it doesn't really matter. But in that particular situation, I want to make sure that the hose that's connected to the pony is actually long enough to donate. And I actually prefer in this situation a 36 inch hose, which happens to come with the Mares Loop system, whether you get the Mares Loop 15X or say the uh, R2S system from the Mares XR line. And all you got to do is simply donate off to your buddy using the alternate. And there's going to be plenty of hose here in that situation. So unfortunately, you are going to have to have extra equipment so that your buddy can be safe enough while diving with a full face mask. Now, that kind of answers that question, but let's move on to the SMB and let's see exactly how you're going to inflate an SMB or deploy an SMB while on a full face mask. If we look at traditional style SMBs and the way they inflate, it's with this little oral inflation valve and basically all you do is pull down and blow into it and you can inflate it up. Well, that presents a problem with a full face mask because to be able to do that, you're actually gonna have to remove the mask inflate, put the mask back on, clear it, and breathe. And unless you can do that in one breath and do it smoothly, it's not very practical. So a couple of different options that we have is, is one, you can update your SMB to one that has not only an oral inflation valve, but also a low pressure inflator valve. And that's gonna give you the option to actually disconnect, say, your inflator system on your BC, or even your dry suit inflator system plug into it and it doesn't actually snap into so once it's inflated it's not going to just going to rip you up to the surface or whatnot but you just simply push in that's going to take the air out of your tank inflate your smb and it's actually much quicker to do it that way and then of course you can deploy it as well now depending on the low pressure system hose or low pressure hose that you have if you're using the air control system these the, the actual LP adapter here may not actually work with it. So you're just going to have to try it and see if it works. Another option is if, if you're in a dry suit, you can always disconnect your dry suit, use that hose itself, and then you can always reconnect your uh, dry suit back. The last option is, of course, a different style SMB. And when I dive with a full face mask, this is actually the one that I prefer. But for several reasons. One, I've got oral inflation. Two, I can hook up with a low pressure hose. Or number three, it also has an open bottom here at the bottom of the SMB. So I can actually use an expired gas or additional gas to inflate it. Simply put, if you're using the air control system, all you gotta do is just use your air control, purge a little bit of air into it, and of course, you can inflate your SMB that way, or with the open bottom, I can simply use expired gas as I breathe it through the mask. With my exhaust port here on the bottom, I simply tilt my head, put the open bottom here, and as I exhale, air will actually go up into the SMB. So to answer your question, how would I, would I do it with a full face mask? Get you an SMB that either has an open bottom, one that has an open bottom and the low pressure inflator, 
uh, adapter or get one that has a low pressure inflator adapter, the open bottom, and the traditional oil inflation. So with a full face mask, we're presented with several additional issues that we may have to overcome. And simply put, you're going to have to have additional equipment for that just to be safe for you and your buddy. But Brian, those were some great questions. I hope my answers helped you out. If they did, hit that like button for me. I really appreciate you contacting us. If you got any more questions, please feel free to put it down in the comment section below. Look us up on Facebook, send us an email, or just give us a call. But to our viewers, if you like these tips, simply hit that like button for me. If you've got any other suggestions that may help him out, please put it down in the comment section below. Guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.